Hey, Will, how are you? Good, Keith. How's it going? For some reason, our internet was giving us some problems, so we're going to do it the old-fashioned way in terms of uh, talk show uh, interviews. We're doing it over the phone. Um, let's talk. Let's start off by uh, talking about the Super Tuesday primary from this past week. Massachusetts, of course, one of the uh, states involved in the Super Tuesday primaries, and uh, the voters of Fall River followed the trend of the rest of the state on both the Democratic and Republican side in uh, nominating both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Was that pretty much expected, Will? Yes, yeah, certainly. Clinton has always been a very popular figure here in Fall River. If you go back to the first election uh, involving her and Barack Obama, she uh, demolished Obama in Fall River, mm. uh, you know, eight years ago. So that she would pull out ahead of uh, Bernie Sanders should have come as no surprise. I think maybe the fact that she came in with you know, about 56% of the vote compared to 41 for Sanders, that margin may, have, may be slightly surprising just given some of the success Sanders did have in Massachusetts. And of course, on the Republican side, Donald Trump continues uh, to ride the wave of uh, his support across the country by also doing well here locally. Yeah, Trump's support was very strong in Fall River, picking up 62% of the vote. Um, and, you know, he swept all of the greater Fall River towns as well en route to taking Massachusetts very easily. So, uh, you know, his momentum in, in Mass was not a problem. Let me just ask you, um, Election Commission Chairwoman Elizabeth Kamara said that the turnout was about 30 percent of registered voters. Is that correct? Right. And, and how does that compare to the last city election? It was around that, wasn't it? Or was it a little higher than that? Yeah, the final, you know, the final election was, I believe, off the top of my head, about 33 percent. Okay. So, you know, a little bit under, but uh, generally primaries are not the strongest showing. Yep. I think having active races in both campaigns, uh, in both parties, uh, probably helped to bring people out. Though still, there were towns in Massachusetts that were, uh, I think, around the 50 percent mark of yeah. turnout. So 30 percent is still a little low c comparatively. All right. Well, that's good. And, uh, you know, Super Tuesday is done. We won't hear anything here about the uh, presidential election until November, although neighboring Rhode Island will have their, uh, their primaries in late April. So we'll see how uh, whether Rhode Island follows the trends of uh, Fall River and Massachusetts when they vote later next month. Shifting gears now, uh, Mayor uh, Jaisal Correa this week held a news conference with Bristol County Sheriff Tom Hodgson to announce that the city will be receiving some help from the Sheriff's Department and the inmates there to help beautify Fall River as the weather gets warmer. Um, this has been done before across Bristol County. Um, is this, uh, has it been done before in Fall River? And when was the last time the city used uh, these inmates for this, this type of work? Well, the, the sheriff has had work crews in Fall River uh, a couple years back, I think, during Will Flanagan's uh, mm -hmm. mayorality regarding but more specifically used for graffiti removal. Right. Uh, the sheriff has the graffiti, graffiti removal uh, tool over there, so that was put to use. I don't recall work crews being in Fall River uh, since Ed Lambert was mayor. Okay. So we're talking, uh, you know, a good uh, eight to ten years ago. Right. Right. 2007, I believe, was, uh, was uh, when um, Mayor Correa at the time became mayor following uh, Mayor Lambert's, right. uh, yes. Lambert's uh, term, term in office. And, and, and back then, if, if you remember, Will, a lot of talk was not just the fact that uh, Sheriff Hodgson wanted to put inmates in Fall River, but he wanted to put inmates that may not have been um, those that uh, earned the, the work. Uh, the old chain gangs um, came up back then. Uh, this is definitely not that. These are our inmates that are in their last few months of, of serving time at the, at the prison and are actually uh, being involved because of their good behavior while in prison, correct? Right. It's similar to what uh, many people may see as they drive along 195 right. and they see crews out uh, picking up trash along the highway. It, it's those type of people. Uh, you know, they're identified they're in the last six months of their sentence, so they have the incentive not to try to run off or anything uh, and risk, you know, picking up an even longer sentence when they're close enough to get it out. Right. So we'll be seeing those crews uh, relatively soon as 
Boy, we're only a couple of weeks before uh, spring actually starts. Last story I want to talk about today, Will, is um, actually uh, from neighboring Tiverton, Rhode Island. As many of the viewers know, uh, Tiverton, just at the Fall River border, right off uh, of Stafford Road, looking to uh, be the new location of a casino. The uh, owners of the Newport Grand Casino, which is actually the Twin River uh, people, are actually looking to relocate that facility to Northern Tiverton, right at the Fall River line. And this week, the uh, state legislature in Rhode Island is moving forward. The House passed a proposal yesterday. The Senate's gonna get it today. And what'll happen is it'll actually go to the voters of Rhode Island and Tiverton later on this year. So that's actually moving forward and this could play uh, an impact on uh, some much needed jobs here in Fall River. Yeah, and certainly they are moving pretty quickly in Rhode Island with an eye on what's happening in southeastern Massachusetts right. and the casino deliberations between placing something in Taunton or and or Brockton. Uh, even in the hearing yesterday in Rhode Island, uh, Rep. Galliston, who represents the Bristol area, noted that uh, Massachusetts must be watching what Rhode Island's doing and kind of expressed some optimism that if they can get the Twin River site up and running in Tiverton, it could have an effect on whether or not something is built in uh, this region of Massachusetts. So uh, certainly the job prospects are there for Fall River potentially, as well as um, the potential for some reciprocal business as people leave the casino, hit gas stations in the right. Fall River area, businesses, restaurants, all that kind of thing. Right. And the uh, uh, Massachusetts State Gaming Commission still working on citing that southeastern Massachusetts uh, casino. And uh, we'll have more on that as it, uh, as it gets closer. All right, Will, what's, uh, what's on tap for the Herald News coming up over the next few days? Well, this, uh, this Sunday we'll be taking a look at how high schools in the area are helping with the freshman transition. And then uh, next week we'll be... Uh, right back on board as we continue to look at what's going to happen with DCM mm -hmm. and uh, the future of that uh, trash pickup in Fall River. All right, Will, we appreciate your time. We'll talk again next week. Have a good week. All right, you too, Keith.